Ladies and gentlemen, this is Science World Broadcast with Evangelist F. Baxter. Our message and title, our message and title, ladies and gentlemen, when the storms come, when the storms come, this is part one of the message and title, when the storms come. Ladies and gentlemen, I pray that the peace of God and the grace of God will rest and abide upon you as we take part and listen to this message. When the storms come, our memory text will be coming from St. Mark's chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. St. Mark's chapter 4, verse 35 through 31. This is part one of the message in Tycho. When the storms come. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Stand by for the scripture reading. In this, in this message, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be dealing with storms of life. All of us at some time in our life will go through a storm. What is the storm of the loss of a loved one? The storm of loss in a job? The storm of a broken relationship? The storm of financial crisis? But indeed, all of us go through some sort of storms. But storms come and storms go. I hope through this message, ladies and gentlemen, you will be encouraged. The message in Taika, when the storms come, part one, part one. Stand by for the scripture reading. Hallelujah to God be the glory. Our scripture reading today or tonight is coming from St. Mark's chapter 4, reading from verse 35 through 41. Our message in Taiko, when the storms come, part one. We're going to have a few, maybe three parts, I'm not sure, but I know we're going to have more than two. This is part one, when the storms come. The scripture reading is taken from St. Mark's chapter 4, reading at verse 35. And the same day, when Eve was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. Verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, 
they took him even as he was in the ship and they were also with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full verse 38 st mark's chapter 4 and he was in the in the part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said unto him master carest thou not we perish verse 38 let's do it again verse 38 and he was in the in the part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and say unto him master here is thou not that we perish question and he rose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are ye so fearful question oh it is that ye have no faith question and when they and they feared exceedingly and said one to another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him hallelujah here end the reading of the holy word of god a portion of the holy word of the lord what is the purpose of this message the purpose of this message is to let you know that in our life no matter how good we live, no matter how great a Christian we may be, storms will come. Because storms come and storms go. I have never seen a storm that stay. But I just want to let you know, in the midst of the storm, if we remember that God, Jesus, God's Son is always there, Ladies and gentlemen, we will able to make it. In spite of the storm you are facing today, God will give us what it takes to ride out the storm. We are facing storms today of coronavirus death worldwide. But ladies and gentlemen, this too shall pass. Stay tuned for the word of God. I pray that you will receive a blessing through this message. Remember, the storm is passing over and Jesus, the Lord's our rock, in him we hide, is a shelter in the time of storm. and gentlemen you can be next in line to go through a storm it could be you it could be me ladies and gentlemen i pray that we'll continue to trust god trust god in the midst of the storm whatever the storm may be remember our message entire once more when the storms come when the storms come our main focus in this message will be number one three points I am not sure if I'm able to put all these points in one message. However, if I have part two, you will get the rest of the message in part two because this is part one. My main focus is going to be number one, three points. I'm going to talk about the force of the storm, the fears because of the storm, and finally, our fate during the storm. So, our main focus focus going to be the force of the storm, the fears because of the storm, and our faith during the storm. 
Stay tuned for the message in Jesus' name. Remember, a storm is coming. Science World Broadcast with Evangelist Seth Baxter. Indeed, whether it's day or night, I have a wonderful message to share with you. The message in Taiko, when the storms come. When the storms come, I pray that in this message you will receive a blessing. This message is talking about adversity, disappointment, setbacks, disappointment, setbacks. This message is talking about facing storms of life, whether it's sickness, loss in a job, loss in a loved one, experiencing broken relationships, yes. or the love of your life you lost, or a sickness that the doctor can't fix. Well. Whether it's a child that broke your heart or it's a financial crisis that cannot fix well, whether it's the coronavirus that we face in 20, 2020, whatever the, whatever the circumstances may be, I pray that this message will be a blessing to you as it has been to me to teach us and to encourage us so to make it trust storm yeah so once more, more the message in Taiko when the storms come indicating that in life there are more than one storm yeah you never know what tomorrow might bring yes sir Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Zion's Wall Broadcast and Evangelist at Baxter. In this message, I have three main points I would like to share with you. Number one, the force of the storm. The force of the storm. Number two, the fear of the fears because of the storm. Well, Come on, Baxter, come the on. Years because of the storm. And yes, point sir. Number three, and the closing point will be the faith during the storm. Yes, sir. Our faith during the storm. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that this message will bless your soul. Yeah. What I would like to do is to go deep into the text, the Word of God. This Come message on. is taken from the book of St. Mark's chapter 4, reading yeah. from verses 35, reading from verse 35 to 41. Dear God, as I pray, as I seek to embark and to try to explain and to try to share your words, I pray, O oh God, that your words that is written will come alive. Yes, please. Let your name be amplified. Hope Let your name Spirit. be glorified. That even through the storms of life, yes, storms come and storms go. And storms is to help us to see mm. that we ourselves, though we row, we cannot make it by ourselves, but with you. Yeah. Dear God, all things are possible. Yes, Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that your name will be glorified and amplified yes. through this message. And yes. we see the storms of life, they come to lift up us, to help us to be closer drawn to thee. Yes, Lord. Touch this woman. Yes, In please. a special way, I pray. Touch this man in a special way. Thank you, Jesus. These boys or girl. Yes. Dear God, let this be a searching message. Come on. Let this message be a message to let us not just think about what happened in the book of St. Luke, in the book of St. Mark, rather, for 
Let us not just see the story as a storm on the sea of Galilee. No. But let us look in our life for our storms and see how you came through in the past and testify it is no secret what God can do. Yes. For what he done for others. Yes, Lee, he Jesus. He has the power to do for us too. Hallelujah. Let's sanctify and let your words come alive. Please. I pray, O oh God, that there will be a change in someone's life today. Including minds. I Please. pray that someone will decide to surrender to you. Yes, Lord. I pray, O oh God, that through this message, someone will cry out, what must I do to be saved? Help me, Holy Spirit. Please, because come, Holy Spirit, and help me. are upon us, left, right, and center. Dear God, bless this message. Bless my soul. Forgive me for my sins. Please, Jesus. And use me to glorify you. Jesus. I, Baxter, will be careful to give you the praise. Jesus. Touch somebody in a mighty way. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. May this message go near and far. Thank I may you. not. May this message don't be just another message. Please, Lord. May hearts be touched. Please, Jesus. The soul be blessed and lift up. Yes. From whatever disappointment we're facing even now. Uh -huh. Whatever hurt or setback we may experience. In the past. Dear God, may your name be glorified. Yes. And may someone be lifted up. In Jesus. Through this message. In Jesus', in Jesus name I pray. Hallelujah. 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 Welcome once more to the Science World Workout with your Angelis F. Baxter. It is sweet to know as we onward go that the way of the cross leads us. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord's our rock. Come on. In him we hide. Yes. Jesus is the greatest shelter. Hallelujah. In the time of storm. Thank you, Jesus. The raging flood may us yes. be. Come on. But Jesus, God's Son. Hallelujah. He sent from God mm. to be our shelter. Hallelujah. In the time of storm. Thank you, Jesus. For refuge near. Come on. For refuge near. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yes. the Science Wall Broadcast want to let you know that the greatest shelter we have in the time of storm is found in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. So as you go through this day, as you go through this night, I encourage you to choose to let Jesus Christ lead your way. Yes. For well, there is no other way to be happy in Jesus. Than to trust. Than to trust and obey. Hallelujah. Stand by. Before we have the message, we will have a gospel song. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, stand by for a gospel song before we have the message. Remember the message entitled, When the Storms Come, Part 1. Stand by for the gospel song in Jesus' name. When the storms come, well, do you believe it? Come on. <laughs> Oh, my brothers and 
and sisters, yeah. my friends, boys and girls. <laughs> Is it death? Like never before? Yeah. Coronavirus? Is it financial crisis? Is it sickness that our money can't fix? What is our storm? All of us have different storms of life. What is our storms? Hallelujah. I want to sing. Men, all of us go through some storms. Come on, sing this song. I just want to encourage you to keep holding on. Hallelujah. Look for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, sing the song. Come on. Join me. Come on, somebody. Join me now. Come on. Join me and sing the song. Come on, everybody. Come on, tenor. Where's the tenor? Where's the soprano? Come on, alto. Come on. Come on, join the bands in the setbacks. I sing the song. You pray for me and for you. Come on. Come on. destroy the ship uh-huh the disciples were experienced fishermen and they had been in storms before but yes. for some strange reason this storm was not like a regular storm mm -mm. this was not an ordinary storm yes no. this was an extraordinary storm come on and ladies and gentlemen the bible said they tried and dry <laughs> yes they did but as they were trying lo and behold they realized that it was getting worse and somebody remember that jesus is on the ship and when they check it out and get him and found him, he was fast asleep and a pillow. Come on, Baxter. And they said, Jesus. Come on. Here is still not that we perish. Wake up, Jesus. Things are falling apart. Ship is seem like it want to turn over. And here you are. And a pillow sleeping. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody maybe praying for something and praying for something Hallelujah. and praying about something yes lord and, and, and it seems like there is no answer come on no and you're thinking and you're wondering where is god you pray and 
what you pray for didn't come true. Somebody prayed for somebody that was sick and they died. Mm -hmm. And we're wondering where is God? But I just want to tell you from the onset of this message that God is where he was. He's in the same place when his son was dying on the cross. Come on. And ladies and gentlemen, we in this life will go through storms. Yes. Whether you're Christians or not, whether you're a believer or not, we will all go through some storms. Come on. And so in this message, I want to share with you three main storms and explain in detail these storms. So I might have part two of this message entitled, When the Storms Come. So first of all, this is part one. When the storms come, part one. St. Mark's chapter 4 verse 35 to 41 is our main text. And I'm not in a rush, ladies and gentlemen. If I can't put everything in one video, I'm going to put it in another one. Come on, Baxter. But I just think it's fair for me to take time to take my time go to the Word of God. Come on. Right. Yeah. We're living in a dangerous time. We're living in a time that we need to realize that storms come and storms go. Come on. That's and true. I've never seen a storm that say... Stay. When I was a little boy, there was a storm they called Wild, 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 Wild Gilbert. Yeah, water the coming storm our room. Things, the storm tear up things, the storm damage things, and the storm cause a lot of trouble. But ladies and gentlemen, the storm didn't stay. Storms come and storms go. Amen. It is said, and it's a fact, that storms come to strengthen us. Yeah. Storm come to, storm sometimes come to make changes. Am I right? Yes. Indeed, storms come to make changes. Yeah. Storm come, and when storm come, things will never be the same. No, sir. And so, I'm going to dive into the Word of God right now. This story takes place on the Sea of Galilee, which is known for its sudden storms. Come on, Baxter. On the Sea of Galilee, it may be said that storms will come suddenly. Uh-huh. And, and unexpectedly. Well. Which also illustrate for we as believers in Christ, if you believe in God, that we can expect storms to hear up suddenly. Anytime. Anytime. As well. Things can be going fine right now and tomorrow can be a different thing. Yes, you may be sir. rejoicing right now. Mm -hmm. Shouting hallelujah, but tomorrow it may not be the same. Come on. 2020, we experienced this. We, Many of us have plans for the future. Yeah. Many people plan to take a trip. Vacations for 2020. Mm -hmm. Some plans concert, some plan wedding, some plan touring to go yeah. tour. Yes, sir. The traveling industry getting up with the trips, the plane, the planes are running, Most empty. a lot of empty seats, uh -huh. Come many on. of us plan things, but storms are away, like the buses it and trains, and flip it, but I want to show you in this message, is that in this message, sorry, in this message, in this message, that in spite of the storms of life, yes, Jesus have the power to make it calm, come on, and so today I'm going to take my time, to share with you the word of God. Yes, sir. And so as we go through this message, I pray that God will grant me the Holy Spirit to teach me and to guide me and that you will receive a blessing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part one. Uh, I'm going to have part two. So immediately after this part one, I'm going to have part two. So when you finish listening to part one, look for part two to get the true meaning of the message. So look for part two. This is part one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. By your slaughter you take place on the Sea of Galilee. It has said that this Sea of Galilee 
Chris. It has said this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Of this sea of Gatherly is known for its storms and sudden storms. Yes. It has been said that there are storms that come affecting our families, storms that affect our flesh, sickness, sickness of life, storms affect our finance, storms come from left, right and center. Storms of life is no respect of person. Yes, sir. Storms of life no matter if you're educated and dedicated. No, sir. Storms of life no matter if you're not dedicated and if you're poor, it don't matter. 